to make it clear what I mean about uh, um, David Gilmore is right. Jamming is jamming. When uh, when John Anderson and yes was uh, jamming, they um, they didn't uh, record it and present it as uh, a composition because they knew that um, they were just throwing around ideas and that they had to uh, to put it together later so the problem arises when you think that you are composing when you are jamming uh, the same thing can happen as I said when you paint um, you can't do it in one take you have to let your painting rest for a while and come back to it later and uh, even if you write a letter you experience the same thing I have been um, ex I have experienced writing letters and as I started, I didn't know what to say, so I just talked about uh, what day it was and what time of, of day and what the, the weather was outside and uh, really simple things. And I just uh, wrote down what I was um, able to write down. But uh, every time <clears throat> I wrote a letter like that, after a page or two, <clears throat> I got into uh, philosophy and thinking deep, deeper stuff. <clears throat> so it's absolutely. <clears throat> A useful thing to just improvise and um, even the Norwegian painter um, Odnadrum he said that it was very interesting to hear himself talk because there were so many strange and interesting things coming out of his mouth. And um, uh, the reason for that is that uh, you uh, often know things on an emotional level, but not on an intellectual level. And if you only know things on an emotional level, if you just start talking, you can um, you can uh, accidentally find the words and be able to say it. But this doesn't mean that you can repeat it afterwards. If you want to know something intellectually, you have to think it, not just feel it. And uh, uh, and if you th if you think it and express it, then it's much easier to repeat it because you have a conscious memory of it.